You stand in your truth. I stand in my heart. Pulled apart, polarized. Until we find a holy example of balance made new. We're at a crossroads. Jesus seeking. Feel as if right now in a time of crisis there's been a lot of anger or a lot of frustration or pain with everything that's going on be the election and a lot of the hatred that's happening in the world the volatile nature in which people are attacking each other sometimes when my gut reaction is not nice <laughs> like i've been a mix of having a lot of righteous anger but there will be someone who gets up and says like the only way that we can like accomplish anything is to move with love as well as a deep just urge of compassion. I think, okay, how can I be love in this situation? Remember that we need Christians on both sides of the aisle. The bigger divide more than anything, in my perspective, is that there's a division on truth. Building relationships and saying, I know what the media said, or I know what a headline said, or I know what an email said, but I know that person, and that's just not who they are. I'm gonna continue working with them. There's far more middle ground, far more discussion that can happen beyond getting to this volatile place of thinking someone isn't a Christian or someone isn't uh, smart or intelligent or they're evil or they're dumb. Right or wrong, win or lose, can we see his good face through our blinded world views? Soften my heart, breathe with We're at a crossroads, Jesus seeking you. The promise of God is yes and amen, yes and amen, yes and amen. The promise of God is yes and amen. Sometimes you have to go your own way, but I don't think this is that time. I think we need to come together. We are part of the solution, but I also think we are part of the problem. So we're not looking at the other person as the source of the issue, but we first need to look at our own selves. I think we can do better. I know we can do better. First, we gotta get humble. And being humble is the, for me, has been the gift of being able to admit I was wrong. My thinking wasn't right. I miss God on that one. When I learned to be more forgiving of myself and accept the truth of who I am, then I magically became more accepting and forgiving of other people. I do believe we are meant to be teachers, but I also believe that even in that we're meant to learn and grow. It's in that space of being uncomfortable that growth happens for us. The very best teachers give people space to grow. And I think God is the very best teacher of them all, and He does that for all of us. I don't think Jesus ever said America first. Um, it's people first, and it's love first, and I think that that was the message of Christ. When I say I'm hopeful, it's not just sitting back and letting things happen. There's an opportunity for us to step out, to be a voice, for us, you know, to articulate what hope really means. It's not just like a, oh, you just have to be loving. It's like a fierce love, you know? It's like, I, the kind of love that makes you say no, that, that makes you get angry, that makes you activated. We may not be fully responsible to seeing a solution come to light, but what we are responsible for is doing whatever piece that we feel is on our hearts and is necessary for us to do to move people forward, including ourselves. I believe that if I keep doing what I, what I know is right and what I feel is right, I can make a difference in the world. Whether it be through dance, or speaking to that one person on the train, just shaking someone's hand and telling them that's gonna be okay. Heaven restored an unstruck sound. You promise of peace, of grace so profound. Cut through the noise to your whispers of.
promise of God is yes and amen, yes and amen, yes and amen. The promise of God is yes and amen, yes and amen. I think the root of all people's soul is to be heard, is to be seen, is to be understood. You can correct later, but there's times to just listen. That love has to always be there. Um, I don't think there's uh, any way to really be in connection to God without having that love in your life. Leading with love. Faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is, is love. I stand for love. I stand for love and togetherness. I need to find a middle ground. And I need to be able to find that with my brother. I need to be able to find that with my family. I need to be able to find that with my friends and church members. And be able to find that place where it's like we we actually want to see God's kingdom here on earth. We all want you. We all want you. We all want the same thing. We all want you. Your love, yes and amen.